Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, we've entered week five of our fall worship, stewardship worship series, Empowered by Grace. And this is a, a beautiful culmination to this five-week series of Bible study and mission moments and essays and wonderful conversation across the congregation about stewardship um, and the ways that you and I are being called as stewards of God, as disciples of Jesus in the world today. And so I pray that you have been blessed in this time and that our commitments that we make in this last weekend as we gather together in worship and the Reverend Charlie Axness from the Eastern North Dakota Synod is our guest preacher um, and will walk with us uh, through those commitments of time, commitments of prayer and, and spiritual uh, prayer and lifting up for the congregation and commitments of our financial resources to God's work through this place. I pray that we are blessed um, in this week. Our theme of this week is empowered by grace to do your best. And I think this is a wonderful um, culmination to this series. And so let's join in prayer and sharing the prayer that's part of the Bible study this week. Together we pray. Lord, you are the owner of every animal in the forest and the cattle on a thousand hills. We thank you for the privilege and opportunity to be your stewards. We pray that this study will begin today, will equip and energize us to be more faithful in our stewardship. May all that we do bring you glory and honor. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hopefully you, by now you've established um, along the theme or the overarching um, point of this worship series that all that we have and all that we do and all that we are belong to God, because God is the one who first gives our response to God's gifts and God's giving and continuous giving is simply what we call stewardship in this world. Because of God's grace, in essence, we are called and sent to serve, and to witness, to share what Jesus is and who Jesus is with others, to give of our time and our financial resources to work, to be the hands and feet and voice of God in the world today and of God's love in the world today. In this week's study, the encouragement that we receive, I hope, is an encouragement that to do our best is made with an understanding that everything that we do and everything that we are, our, our attitudes, our behaviors, our work, are always in response to what God has already done in and for us and through, uh, through his work in the one who was risen from the dead through his power at work in us, through a savior named Jesus. Our stewardship, our ability to be stewards of God or disciples of Jesus does not originate with what we do for God, with how hard we can work or how much we can pray or offer in our financial giving to God. It does not originate from there because we love and have an ability to love because God first loved us. We give and have an ability to give because God first gave. We speak and have an ability to speak, to witness, because God first spoke. It is our God who does the initiating. And all that we are and all that we have are because of God's grace in the midst of this. And so I pray that as you seek to be empowered by grace to do your best, that you remember that you're given that as a gift. That ability is a gift in all that we say and do. One of the texts that we lift up this week in this Bible study is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, and, and, and um, I think it helps us to reflect upon who we are called to be and what we are called to be about in this world. And so I want to read this text and then offer a couple of closing, closing <laughs> thoughts to these Bible studies. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we... And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. 
So what does God want you to do? What does God want you to be in your daily life? I pray that, that the themes that have been lifted up of serving others, of bearing witness to the good news of Jesus in the world, to giving of our time and our talent and our treasure, our money, to the work that God is doing through places like Good Shepherd that we love, are ways in which you feel that God is calling you to be about and do in this world today. May you be blessed in this work and may you always remember as the back end of this Bible study this week shares, God uses ordinary people and has used ordinary people throughout time to do some really, really extraordinary things. I am excited to see and experience and walk alongside you as together we do some extraordinary things as God works through us. Blessings and peace to you as we celebrate Thanksgiving this week. May you be grateful for all that you've been given, and may your gifts be a blessing to others as well. Peace, happy Thanksgiving, and blessed Advent season as we enter that next.